Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the Citrix certification video training and this is the 8th video of in this series. In this video we are going to walk through managing the Citrix lic licenses. So as as we all know Citrix is providing license on uh, basis of user users and concurrent sessions. So we'll go through and we'll verify each and everything which is uh, which is required to know about the licensing for Citrix and we'll also verify the uh, uh, have a look on uh, license administration console so what we have we have four virtual machine in this demo the f uh, the first two machine is windows machine which is uh, win 2k12 dc01 which is my active directory server which we are using since last few videos so this is my I have installed active directory DNS and DHCP role on this server you can verify my server name win2k12 DC01 and my domain name here and the second machine is Citrix DC which is my delivery controller basically you can see I have installed Citrix Studio delivery controller on this machine also I have installed the Citrix uh, Zen Center and all the Citrix delivery control uh, Citrix uh, Zen desktop uh, core components on this server so if you want you go ahead and launch the both the things and uh, and we have two zen server which is zen server 1 and zen server 2 running on my machine here you can see so zen server 1 and zen server 2 and if you want i can go and connect with my zen center to connect with both the machines And same, I can connect with my Zen Server 2 machine. So, so we need to verify the Citrix uh, licensing in this video. So, we need to launch the Citrix Studio. Here you can see the Citrix is, is Studio is launched, which we have created few videos before. Node as Citrix, and if you go here in licensing, you can see here license in use so it will take some time to get the information if you go here you can see requ uh, required product license is not installed if you click here you can see license were not found on this person because I'm using the Zen desktop platinum uh, uh, edition for 30 days free trial so also here you can see here we have a site name for which a license admission uh, uh, is uh, information is here and we have license server which is citrix hyphen dc 01 vector info so and and li license server port number here you can see if you want to change the license server you can go here and type the license server name and you can connect to any other license server so also you can see here allocate license if you go ahead click you can see the basically you can type the license which you are getting from Citrix and then you can click on so and then you can allocate the license to the license server so if you are want to edit the product product edition you can go here and you can change so currently I'm using the Citrix Zen desktop you can see here Plantinum Enterprise app and VDI solutions we have and uh, uh, app uh, Zen app edition we have Plantinum enterprise and advanced we don't have their like VDI and app so licensing mode we have two licensing mode as we discuss user and device licensing the number of user and device you want to uh, give the license and we have second option which is concurrent licensing concurrent licensing is something if we have a 10 license for concurrent li concurrent session then we can use at a time then 10 users connected to the Citrix uh, platform and they they can get the license basically to work and here we have like add license you can see and we have an administration console as well as for licensing server which is running on basically IS server on which you have installed the license server uh, uh, role for, Cit uh, for Citrix so if you go here and click on license administration console it will give you the like first it's uh, there was no like certificate is installed so this way this is giving a message so continue to this website and we will get the login screen here to log into the Citrix 
you can see here we have a we have Citrix server name which is Citrix hyphen DC hyphen zero one so we don't have any alert here which is uh, generated for the uh, for the license basically if you have any l any warning on alert uh, error basically critical error uh, related to license you will get here so here you can see so this window will give you the concurrent licensing information so we need to go here and click on administration and then it will ask you the login credential so in my case I'm going to put my credential here and click on submit and now you can see I have successfully logged into my license administration console and we have few information here which is related to success Citrix site information on Citrix infrastructure which is running on my uh, my demo environment so the first is uh, giving the release version detail for the Citrix and and we have here license server management port number in use 27,000 and display name we have Citrix host which is running a Citrix uh, licensing server and we have a host domain name full F FQDN here and we have two IP address which is uh, basically assigned to my uh, my this Citrix server uh, the Citrix licensing server if you go here you can see I have two two NICs here which is connected to my Citrix and you can also verify the like Ethernet Ethernet address which is basically the MAC address for my machine if you want to see here if a775 you can see here which is assigned so so basically this is giving the information about this about the our licensing server itself and we have user configuration here you can go ahead and configure the any if you want to make any user administration administrator here you can go ahead and use the add the role for the Citrix licensing administration they can they can like view the things like they can modify the things here modify the settings for the Citrix licensing configuration and we have here one page which is alert configuration we can go ahead and configure the alert as per our requirement so here you can see the critical warnings it's giving like uh, vendor service stopped we have out of uh, overdraft license and and out of concurrent license we have so it will give you the warning uh, alert at the license license administration administration console by default if you take these things so I'm going to take the all the things here and we have also important setting here which can be uh, like set so activate threshold exit uh, not used by Citrix 90% so whenever the 90% uh, uh, like 90% uh, threshold value has been ex uh, exit for uh, uh, licensing which is assigned to concurrent user or concurrent devices so it will give you the warning at the console and we have other settings as well as like here you can see concurrent threshold exit so we have all the by default the Citrix configured all the alerts as per standard also so I so so I don't r recommend you to change this setting uh, if you if you require you can go ahead and change the setting as per your company policy so you can see if you save the settings successfully updated the alert configuration and we have server configuration next year server configuration here so we have HTTP web uh, web server configuration we have secure web con uh, web server configuration so I'm using basically HTTPS for my Citrix licensing console so let's check the secure web server configuration we have port number here which on which we are connected to our licensing server 8082 by default port and we have here to uh, pro provide the certificate file and certificate key file here we can associate with that and we have license license server configuration use the use the default port if you want and you can use the also the um, 
this port or you can set the de default port which is coming from 27000 to 27009 and we have maximum number of license of a um, uh, manager processing thread so 10 means it means we can maximum 10 person can log in on a single time on a, our license server and maximum number of license threads so we have and we have a log information where the log is going so if you want to check any log for error information warning you can go here and click on view log it will give you the one file here on which you can see all the logs basically and go ahead and click here close button and now we have a user interface basically the language you can set here so this is some settings which you can like uh, verify for the licensing of Citrix so this is all about licensing uh, watching and managing the license for Citrix so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye